Hello. Guys, today I am telling you very sincere topic that may change your life. Most important topic weight booze plans 99%. Drink green tea get this. A recent study compared the metabolic result of green tea with that of a placebo. Researchers found that the green tea drinkers burned about 70 supplementary calories in a 24-hour period. If you can't believe it, those 70 calories a day add up to a total of 7.3 pounds of fat a year. Avoid calories in the glass scientists now know that the body does not register liquid calories in the same way it does frozen calories. Drinking a grander cafe mocha, for instance, won't make you feel satiated the way eating the bowl of pasta will. Which means that although the cafe mocha actually has a greater number of calories than the pasta, you're still more likely to want the second cup from Starbucks than another plate of linguine. So monitor your intake of juice, soda, coffee drinks and wine. If you consume one of each of those beverages during the day, Buy a set of 5 pound weights it's all just the one's investment you'll never be unhappy. Here's why. Strength training builds lean muscle tissue, which burns more calories, at work or at rest, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The more lean muscle you have, the faster you'll slim down. How do you start strength training? Try some push UPS or a few squats or lunges. Use your free weights to perform simple biceps curls or triceps pulls right in your home or office. Do these exercises three to four times per week, and you'll soon see a rapid improvement in your physique. Lose the salt sodium supplies to water preservation, making you look and feel overstuffed. Do you eat too much salt? Probably, the daily value suggests no more than 2,400 mg of sodium each day or about 1 teaspoon but most of us are getting more than twice that amount. So keep an eye on your sodium intake. And that doesn't just mean ditching the salt shaker. Hidden sources include soups, canned foods and drinks. Did you know a serving of regular V8 juice has 800 mg of sodium? Salty snacks such as chips and pretzels and many prepackaged foods. Spice it up and below tremble. Ph. E. Director of the Division of Kinesiology at Laval University in Canada, found that eating hot peppers can boost a person's basal metabolism the total calories the body burns at rest. The reason? Capsaicin, the compound found in jalapeno and cayenne peppers, may increase your body's release of stress hormones such as adrenaline which can speed up your metabolism and your ability to burn calories. Get some sleep as funny as it sounds. Sleep deprivation may make you fat, and not just because you're susceptible to cases of the late-night munchies, although there's that too. Women who get less than 4 hours of sleep per night have a slower metabolism than those who snooze for a full 8 hours. According to researchers at the University of Chicago, go for an evening walk, don't get me wrong. Exercising at any time is good for you. But evening activity may be particularly beneficial because many people's metabolism slows down toward the end of the day. Eat every meal, skipping meals will not make you lose weight faster. That strategy backfires because your body thinks food is in short supply, 
so it slows your metabolism in order to conserve energy. Add 20 minutes of exercise per day if you are on a diet. You're probably already working out a couple of times a week. No? Well, you should start. But whether you exercise or not, you can get a leg up on all those other way loss wannabes by doing a little something extra each day. Take the stairs instead of the elevator, walk to the bus, train, or all the way to the office. Window shop with your best friend rather than sit over a coffee. Don't go for the good mix at any given time. There are dozens of weight loss hives in the marketplace that claim to have the ability to take off 10 pounds in 10 days, or whatever. Desperation can't tempt us to try anything, but you and I both know these schemes don't work.